Good times. Playing on a PS2. Oh yeah, dude, I played this. Definitely not as good graphics yeah. as this, though. This is so much better than the PS2. I played the shit out of the PS2 game, though. So did I. This is like the first game I really played and got like, good at. Which is probably setting myself up for a lot of failure. Right? <laughs> Sly! Come in! Come in, Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that. I don't remember the turtle being this annoying. Well, oh, he's great. Your eyes and ears, buddy. He's like this the whole game. <laughs> Get inside. You're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. <clears throat> and don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Murray, his name? Engine's ready for maneuvering. Okay. For immediate maneuver. Go get them coins. Oh, that noise. Hey, Bentley, I the think coin noise. Yeah, I know. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifests <laughs> such bullshit. <laughs> According to my hello, there it is. That door must be super reinforced, Sly. Maybe there's a way to get around it. Introducing Carmelina Montoya Fox as the inspector. Go, Sly. That's not this a very is where Inspector Carmelina Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. <laughs> Try dialing in nine three seven. <laughs> nine three seven. I like how she just has a giant vault in her room, like it's not even like protected. Look at the like... bottle of booze on top. I never noticed that before. <laughs> I was you. A child, but <laughs> as a cop, I'm sure that's probably what you she got it. If you come down through the fire escape, <laughs> through the park. I've never noticed that before. Yeah, I remember playing this as a kid. This took like three times as long because I couldn't figure out how to like hit the buttons. Yeah. Dude, I remember when I was first trying to play this game, I like couldn't get past the first boss. It was Me too, too hard. Like why is this fox just hanging out, out like, outside of her office? Like You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. So sensual. Me. You need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Uh -huh. And I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very Police fancy. just take you think bazookas now? This That's not a bazooka. packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little Ronda. She does not sound Plenty French. of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to nah, not at all. Chef, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. This literally all could have been avoided if she was just sitting in her office. True, actually. You would have gotten the thing and everything, and you wouldn't have gotten the case file, and... She could have just shot me as I went through her window, like... I'm not even shooting close to it. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you say as she shoots the ground you're standing on? Why would she just shoot the ground? I don't understand. I think she's retarded. <laughs> you can't me, raccoon. And then she doesn't even chase the ground. That's great. Let exit. <laughs> it says let exit on the side. <laughs> Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector... Ooh, cutscene, cutscene. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, this is the file I've been searching for all these... Very might. With this... I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began God, when I was just a kid. I just remember the noises and stuff. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. It does bring back some memories, that's for yes. sure. Raccoons. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You were off a master criminal? Was it anyone no, famous in a master thief. I don't know, actually. The night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. Uh-oh. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found... the Thievius Raccoonus. 
Our family's man knew a thief. No, no one famous. <laughs> the fiendish five. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up. Each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Why would they want the book though? I don't I don't get it. Alone, Unless they're trying to prevent him from stealing there from I met two guys who became my lifelong Or to get good at stealing. Bentley, or are you good at stealing? Genius and strategist supreme. And Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together they basically just said Murray's retarded. Yeah. <laughs> but he can drive. He's a savant. He's got a driver's license, but he's also retarded. I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or and allow my family name to bite the dust. Oh boy. 